the coin toss has lost the last seven Super Bowls. And these are the games. The Patriots versus the Seahawks, which the Seahawks definitely should have won that game, but the Patriots won out in the end. Broncos versus Carolina Panthers. The Panthers definitely wasn't didn't make it close at all. Cam Newton didn't really have that good game. Von Miller really got after him, and the Broncos played a great game. Patriots versus Falcons. The Falcons just blew a comeback very easily. And the Eagles versus the Patriots. The Eagles honestly played a great game, running the ball and throwing the ball. Rams versus Patriots. The Patriots just really dominated them. 49ers versus Chiefs. Honestly, that was a great game as well. And the Chiefs just outplayed them, especially at the quarterback position. And then the Buccaneers versus the Chiefs, which the Buccaneers really didn't make it that close. And they really just got after Patrick Mahomes and that offensive line the whole time. And then the Bengals versus the Rams, which I think they definitely have a chance of breaking this record. Someone might break this record soon, but it's honestly kind of interesting. I think maybe the main reason why this happens is probably because the team who needs the ball at halftime isn't getting the ball or something like that. I feel like that's what it is, and they usually probably elect to get the ball first. That could be a reason why, or maybe it just lines up like that at the end. Comment down below your opinion on this. What I want, whoever you think their best man is, put me on him. Jalen Ramsey on trying to shadow Jamar Chase, which this is honestly going to be a good matchup. Jamar Chase versus Jalen Ramsey. I don't know who's going to win this one. I think Jamar Chase is going to be definitely hard to stop, but Jalen Ramsey is one of the best corners in the NFL, probably the best corner in my opinion, and he's definitely going to be difficult for Jamar Chase to catch over. Damian Lillard, grateful for our brotherhood and friendship above all, bro. We knew this day would come, but does it make it easier? Hurt my heart to know shit won't be the same, but love is going to always remain, so you know what time it is with me. Always all the best moving forward with my brother, CJ McCollum, which I wonder what he means. He knew this day would come. Maybe he just expected to end. One of them might get traded. Something like that might happen, or he might leave, which honestly, do you think, guys, comment down below if you think Damian Lillard should leave the Portland Trailblazers. A lot of people have been thinking so, and honestly, I don't, I'm not really sure. I feel like maybe I don't think the situation will get better. Trading away CJ McCollum was probably the worst move they could have done. Maybe, I don't know, especially for the picks they got back, they weren't as good as C.J. McCollum. So I think they definitely lost that trade to the Pelicans, and I don't really know what they should do moving forward. A friend and a teammate, I love you, C.J. That's like a real friend of mine, not just my teammate, Damian Lillard, which, of course, over the years, they've really gotten close. It seems like sometimes the players aren't as close as it seems. Like, Scottie Pippen and Michael Jordan definitely were not close off the court at all, so... You never really know if they're really like friends of anything like that, but it seems like they're definitely close in general. So this is sad to see CJ McCollum go to the Pelicans. Brian Wojnarowski on the Kings trading Tyrese Halliburton to the Pacers. The league is stunned at this trade, which I was really stunned because this one was one of their best young core.